Canon's STM lenses versus Tamron's HLD lenses, which are better for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Tea Time. So after last week's video, when I talked about the Tamron 10 to 24, uh, millimeter lens. I was telling you guys about it does really good for vlogging and for video because it's 10 millimeters and there's not a lot of barrel to it. I really liked it. And I remember I was noticing that it was pulling focus really quickly. I'm like, God, is it really faster than the Canon? I really don't know. Well, I got a lot of questions that had to do with that. How well does the Tamron 10 to 24 pull focus in comparison to my usual 18 to 55 that I'm normally shooting with. Right now I'm shooting with the 10 to 24. So you get a little bit of a difference between today's video to last to last week's video. Now, if you haven't seen last week's video on the Tamron 10 to 24, in the description you'll find a link. Definitely go and take a look at it. I thought it came out really good and gives you a lot of specs about this lens. Years ago, when we started shooting DSLR for video, back on, let's I would think it was like a 5D Mark II, somewhere around there, when video was all the rage, right? The problem with it was, is the cameras were shooting video, but the lenses weren't designed for video. So as you would pull focus, you would hear it doing this thing, right? And it would really mess up the audio. And they were slow and they were kind of choppy. They weren't smooth. And so the camera companies, as well as the third party uh, lens companies, said we need to address this and we need to make quote unquote video ready lenses. So Canon came up with STM, which stands for Stepper Motor Technology, and Tamron came up with HLD, which stands for High Low Torque Modulated Drive. Basically, they're the exact same thing or the same type of technology. The bottom line here is it allows two things. It allows the lens to pull focus faster, quicker, as well as smoother or more silently or perfectly silent. Either way, quick and silent. That's what they were going for. And they succeeded. So what I did today is I put together a little test and I wanted to do this anyways. I'm so glad that you guys asked for it. And I compared the Tamron 10 to 24 to the Canon 18 to 55 when it comes to pulling focus. So what I did is I put some film in the very forefront of the image and then all the way in the back. And this is kind of like what it looked like. Now, you're like, why do you have old films? <laughs> Anecdotally, I shoot a lot of old film for my art projects. I love black and white outdated film. I develop them and then I go chemically print them and I sell my fine artwork basically in galleries. I really enjoy it. It's kind of like a potluck. You never know what you're going to get. You buy this outdated film, you go shoot it, it might be milky, there might be anomalies in it, but that's the fun part. And I really, really like that a lot. So anyway, so you can see in the image, you're going to see that in the front, in the back, you're going to have some film. So what I did was I set both lenses to 24 millimeter. I put them up on a tripod. They're at f4.0. I have the exact same lighting. They're shot with the ADD. Um, I used the touch screen on the ADD to pull focus. And what I did was I clicked on the front one and then I clicked on the back one and then I clicked on the front one, and then I clicked on the back one. And I did that with both lenses, okay? I brought in the footage that I captured at 60 frames per second, and this is what we got. So as you can see here, this is the Canon video, and you can see how it's pulling focus and the speed at which it's pulling focus. It's extremely smooth, transitioning from the front image to the back image from the back image to the front image. It is a nice smooth transition, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what the Tamron looks like. Now you can see it going from the front to the back and the back to the front and the front to the back. Now, if you notice, it is snappier. I don't know if that's a word, but it is definitely quicker moving from one to another. Now, how much quicker? So what I did was I brought both videos into Premiere and I put them both onto the timeline. And I went and found out exactly when I touched the screen and when the image transitioned on the Canon, for example, from the front to the back. And I found that it took 49 frames to get from the front to the back. 
Then what I did is I did it with the Tamarind. And I found that from the front to the back, it took only 34 frames to get that transition to be finished. What does that translate into? Basically, I'm shooting at 60 frames per second. It's 15 frames quicker with the Tamarind, 0.25 or a quarter of a second faster at pulling the same focus. So you would look at it and say, well, 15 frames, can we really detect it with our eye? And as you can see here, it is detectable. Now, which is better? For me, I personally like the quick focus. I like for the focus to be really snappy, especially if you're vlogging. A lot of times you're moving around and you don't want that slow focus in and out. On the other side, if you're doing maybe more cinematography type of stuff and you want a little bit slower of a pull between subjects, then the Canon would be much better for your need. Like I said, quarter of a second faster with the Tamron in comparison to the Canon. Is it a big deal? Probably not, but for some of you, it might be a determining factor for which lens you end up buying. To me, I personally will pick up the Tamron 10 24 even though it's double. It's $499 compared to $249, okay, for the Canon. But at 10 millimeters with almost no barreling, I like that Tamron better for doing vlogging or video number one, and that quickness, that snappiness of pulling focus, I really like that also. So for me, I would have to give it to the Tamron in this situation. So I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. And remember, we're comparing apples to oranges. This is going, you know, your miles may vary. And if you pull two different copies of lenses, you might get different results. But the bottom line here is when I originally picked up this Tamron lens, I was just baffled on how quick this was pulling focus. So by doing this, like I said, I thank you guys for making me go do this experiment to see which one is quicker. So bottom line, Tamron is faster. Does it matter? It's going to be up to you and your preference. So that's about it. That's what I got for you today. If you enjoyed the content, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends and photographer friends out there and subscribe to the channel so you can get more how to's, helpful tips, tricks, and commentary that I do on a weekly basis. And don't forget to head over to my website, jchristina.com, where I've invented a lot of photography tools for photographers just like you. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.